just got in our first HPR ammunition, 223. Look at how this stuff is packed. Beautiful ammunition. It's very clean. Uh, we're going to be testing some of this out today in the 223. These come in 50 packs, which are really nice. Okay, here's the HPR. The accuracy is incredible. The specs on this are really uh, a very high quality control, and the guys making this stuff know what they're doing. This is remanufactured brass, it's once fired brass. So the price is right on this stuff, and yet it is premium. Uh, but they are working on their own line of brass as soon as they get that into production, which will be soon. So, um, very pleased with the 223 and if the 223 is this accurate then the 9 and the 45 and the other calibers are going to be very fun to shoot but look how clean they are the quality they're just smooth you can tell they've been uh, tumbled very nicely and cleaned it's, a, it's actually a pleasure to load hey guys i'm here to uh talk about the new hpr ammunition that's uh, a new company that's just started which is for high precision range ammo. And HPR is out of Payson, Arizona. Uh, I have shown some video earlier when they first introduced. In fact, a viewer just said, hey, have you checked out this, uh, this video? It's announcing free ammo giveaway and coupons. So I, I did post that video just to show you guys. But um, I got some of the 223, the 9mm, and uh, other ammunition in for the shoot that I went on the Nut and Fancy project that we went to recently uh, out west. And I was using the HPR ammunition. Now before I took that ammunition out to the shoot, it was really important to me that this ammunition was really high quality. And many of you have seen with my Leatherwood CMR uh, 1x4 scope review that I did, I was using the HPR ammunition on the second, um, the second time I went to the range. And the HPR ammo is incredibly accurate, it's clean, it's just great shooting stuff, and it's all made here in the USA. Now, one of the things this company strives to do, being made in the USA, is to, of course, to give jobs back to the U.S. But one of the most important things is to control the quality. And, you know, when you're buying ammunition from other countries, a lot of times, whether it's ammunition or any other uh, gear, it can the, the quality control can really be lacking so with this they ensured that the quality was great which ensures safety and accuracy because you have a consistency they're having to, to acquire their brass so to get started with this brand new factory which will produce very consistent ammo um, they've had to use once fired brass and this is just initial they're they're coming up with their HPR head stamp uh, coming up very quickly but they wanted to get ammunition on the market. You know that we've had a lot of shortages for ammunition for the past few years, and so we're wanting to get. Uh, they were wanting to get this met. Now, one of the things about made in the USA too, that's not just quality-wise or anything else. But if a war broke out in some of these third-world countries, or like down in South America or uh, in Asia, where we're getting a lot of our brass, even in Eastern Europe, uh, if a war broke out or something happened, this your ammo supply would really start to hurt. And so HPR wants to get all of their components here in the U.S. As it stands right now, even the packaging is made here in the U.S., printed in the U.S. Um, everything that they do, the primers, the powder, the bullets, and they use the finest quality. They meet the SAAMI or SAMI standards, which is a high industry standard, and they're also mill spec. So this ammunition is extremely high quality, but for the price, you just can't beat it. Now, one of the very first things I noticed was how smooth this ammunition is. It is so slick to the touch. That means it's going to feed well and it's going to be reliable. But not only that, they check each length to make sure that it's consistent. They check primer depth. And some of you guys who've never reloaded and you're just buying for fun, uh, you may not even realize that consistent ammo makes such a big difference in your accuracy. Even the crimp and the powder weight is down to one grain, not gram. Gram is big, a lot larger than a grain. So one-tenth of a grain tolerance 
this will make consistency where it needs to be. Uh, you know, I went to the shoot. I had, had zero malfunctions. My accuracy was in, just on top of the, I mean, it was on top. I really was excited about the accuracy. But I tested this before, as you'll see some in the videos that I'm going to be showing. But I shot this 223. Now, here is some green tip Lake City ammo. Uh, this, of course, has some age on it. But, you know, it's even... Of course, some of this, because it's remanufactured brass, it has some of the burrs taken off. But I'm going to tell you something about Lake City. Lake City is some of the best ammo you can buy. In, fa in fact, uh, it's mil spec. They use this for matches. But if you're finding some of the cheap Lake City brass ammo, be careful because a lot of times they get rid of their ammunition in lots that don't meet up to their factory standards. I've seen a lot of it at gun shows for a really good price. Some of it's once pulled bullets and a lot of other things. So, if you really want good consistency, especially in a 223 rifle that has a scope on it that you're really wanting to get the, uh, the groups really small, you need good, consistent ammo. And I've always found that my reloads would always outshoot even the best factory ammunition. This is done on brand new factory uh, presses, and again, high quality standards. You just can't beat it. Now, if you go to the HPR website, they have tech specs. And look under that heading. Here, this is bullet energy for the 223. And it shows the energy coming from the muzzle. And then it goes all the way out to the yardage, out to about 500 yards. This is one of the many charts they have for not only 223, but the 45, 40, and uh, 9 millimeter. Now, here was the, uh, the final group at 100 yards. And if you've seen my CMR uh, Leatherwood Hilux scope review when I shot this group with the HPR ammo, as you can see, it's 55 grain. These were the first shots, but I had an issue with my mount. Not the scope, but the mount itself. And so there was a little bit of spread, but that was at 4X. And to be honest with you, 4X, it doesn't make the scope that large. I mean, the, the sight picture that large. This is not 10X. And I will be getting a scope coming in next week where I will be shooting it that has a 2.5 uh, 2 by 10x and we're going to get this accuracy down. So I'm very impressed with that, that at a 4x. Now ammo availability has been a big thing and one of my buddies who is uh, the sheriff of the county that I just moved from in North Carolina, uh, he told me that they were having a horrible time uh, acquiring ammunition for their stocks. In fact, they were down just to their emergency levels at one point. One of the problems was that they were not able to buy the ammunition at a law enforcement discount because uh, civilian users were buying ammunition like crazy and it was keeping the, uh, the stocks low for most of the company. So they couldn't get the discount and then they couldn't because of their budgets. But I talked to the HPR guys and they were like very concerned about law enforcement and military. Also, one of my my next door neighbors was a federal uh, is federal law enforcement, and he told me they were having the same problem, and that he had had a two year back order on 223. Now, sometimes I just want to go out and shoot. I don't really, <laughs> I don't even care. I just want the cheapest ammunition I can find to go out and just blast away. But you know, to be honest with you, if you want to really get precision, if you really want to shoot well and accurate and find out really what your gun can do, you need good quality ammunition. And some of the things that HPR does, they're very good with their quality control. Now, I do have a um, Leatherwood M1000 Art Series scope coming, and I will be doing some more accuracy reviews with the 223. You know, I was doing the, the, for the CMR that I was doing the accuracy review on, that's just four power. And when you're shooting at 100 yards, Four power still makes a very small target. So, um, you know, this will be uh, up to 10 power. So I'm really going to be able to test the accuracy of this ammo even closer. But I was totally impressed with the four power. And at the, the uh, sledgehammer, the ammo was beautifully accurate. In fact, I was very proud to shoot this um, 
223 in my gun and the 9mm. More videos are coming. Also, I'm going to be doing some reviews on the 40 and also on the 45 ammunition and the 380. So all that's coming for accuracy reviews and just to talk about this incredible ammo made here in the USA. Now this ammo right now is available uh, online at scottsdaleammo.com. They're distributing it and they're also setting up a nationwide distribution but you can go straight to their website and get the ammunition. They have a 223, 9mm, 40 Smith & Wesson and 45 ACP. I did get a hold of some 380 to test and that is coming very soon. Uh, all of this ammo though will be with the HPR head stamps as soon as possible. In fact, I think when they release the 380 that it will be under the HPR head stamp. But the 223 comes in a 50 round box and as you can see this and the 50 round box it's about 44 cent per round. This 50 round box is $21.99 which ends up that if you bought a box of 20, you'd pay $8.80 for it. For this kind of quality and this ammunition, you can't beat it. So, $8.88 for a box of or 20 rounds of ammunition or $21.99 for the 50, great price. Also, on the 9mm, it runs about $14.50 a box. I think it was $14.49 a box. High quality, high accuracy. You can really test your guns and get your confidence level in the round that you're shooting. They do have only full metal jacket right now, but it's coming up. They're, they're going to be producing the uh, uh, jacketed hollow points and self-defense loads and target loads also. They also want to plan, they're planning to do an entire line of centerfire ammunition. So go to hprammo.com uh, and I'll have the link of course in the description and go there and check out all the specs and then if you want to buy some ammunition which I highly recommend you do go to scottsdaleammo.com and order you a couple of boxes and try it out also just tell them suit sent you because I really think these guys are doing a fantastic job and you know I want to let them know that I really appreciate what they're doing thanks for watching please subscribe for more fun gun reviews and sensible survival God bless America long live the Republic mm -hmm.